Hey, this is the Swedish guitar nerd, and uh, today I am the Swedish bass nerd. Because <laughs> today I'm gonna review a bass guitar. Um, yeah. Well, I've done my guitar reviews and I've covered most of the standard models like the Stratocaster, the Telecaster, the Les Paul, the SG, the ES-335. Uh, but in the bass world, there really are only two standard models. And you can say whatever you want. Just look at what people are playing. There are two models. It's the Fender Precision and it's the Fender Jazz Bass. It's that's what everyone is using, um, and apparently that's the perfect solution for a bass since it's so widespread and no one has really, I don't know, uh, outnumbered them in any way and tried to over sell more basses than Fender have or versions of the Fender models, I should say, um, and uh, yeah. There are of course others like the Rickenbacker basses and uh, yeah the Music Man basses, but then again the Offender was part of making the Music Man basses as well, so I don't know. It's almost a Fender thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do one of the standard models, and this is the Jazz bass. And uh, yeah, construction-wise, uh, the Jazz bass and the Precision bass aren't that that different. They are rather close. The jazz bass has a, a slimmer neck, it's not as wide, and the spacing between the strings aren't as wide. Uh, and the body is different, uh, and it might look kind of odd, but when you strap it on, or if you have it in your lap, it feels very natural and uh, ergonomic, actually, compared to the precision bass, which is, yeah, it's fine as well. It's basically a big Stratocaster. Um, other than that, it's plain and simple. You have tuners, you have a bridge, you have some pickups, and off you go. Uh, the precision ba bass has one pickup, and jazz ba bass has two. Um, and uh, yeah, this is controlled on jazz bass by two volumes and one tone. And well, there are better versions of controlling two pickups because, uh, well, People like me that leave them on 10 or turn them off completely. Yeah, it's kind of messy when you have to do it with two pickups. So maybe a blend and a master volume. Uh, a lot of people do that when they build bases. Well, uh, this is uh, back to a standard. Okay, I'm going to do this review and it's a Squire Affinity Jazz Bass. And let's look at it. Let's start from the top. And um, yeah, I always start with the tuners, and I do that today as well. And we have these wimpy small <laughs> tuners. And to be honest, that is the one thing that sets this ba bass apart from other jazz basses from Fender. Because other than that, it, it's a great, great instrument. So I don't know why they are doing this. I don't know how much money they save by using these really cheap and small tuners. They shouldn't, uh, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, we have a maple neck, rosewood, fingerboard, uh, all the body. And again, it's an affinity model, so it's slightly thinner and that. Uh, even a base, that might be a good thing because bases are heavier since it's more wood. Uh, yeah. As I said, two pickups, two volumes, one tone knob, a uh, top mounted bridge. That's it. Yeah. I give it a seven for materials and hardware, and that is because of the tuners. If it had been other tuners, it would have got a higher number because everything is nice. Uh, the yeah, the neck feels great. There are no sharp fret edges. Uh, the paintwork is great. And uh, yeah, all the parts are where they are, where they are supposed to be. And it looks very tidy and well made. So 
I gave it a 8 for build quality and durability. And yeah, a lot of people use these bases, the Squire ones. Uh, um, for me, it seems they are almost more common than the Squire guitars. You actually see professional people use Squire bases. Um, yeah, and for good reasons. It's a solid construction. How can you go wrong? Um, it's kind of hard to break one of these. Uh, yeah, it's made in China, but they are doing a good job with this one. Playability, I give it a 9 for playability because this is, as I said, it has a smaller neck than the precision bass. It has, yeah, it's a standard standard specifications compared to other just bases. But it's easy to get around. It's no problem getting up to the high frets. Um, and it, as I said, the, the construction is very ergonomical and you... To me, it, yeah, it's one of the perfect bases, and so does a lot of people seem to think. Electronics, I gave it an eight for electronics. Uh, they are working as they should. They are a bit stiff, uh, as I said. If since I go from zero to ten up and down with both pickups, it's kind of tedious, but they work. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I will play... Oh, I'm not used to doing reviews on basses. I will do just the bridge pickup. Where is it there? Uh, alone, and then the neck pickup alone, and then both together. And after that, I will play a bit with a pick. I will play fingerstyle before that. Okay, so here's the sound. <laughs> Yeah, there you have it. I give it an 8 for sounds. I think it sounds good. Uh, if you would compare this to a standard uh, Fender Jazz Bass, it would probably lack volume. Uh, and to me, that is not really a bad thing. Um, if you're not playing like mega distorted bass, and uh, most people don't, so... Uh, a lower output pickup works better with compression and everything. I was using a limiter, for instance, for my uh, bass sound. So I don't think that's a big problem. It's more about the sound, and these sound good. I think they pick up all the right frequencies and, yeah, give it a very natural and, yeah, nice jazz bass sound. 
So all in all, it gets an 8.1 for me. It's a great instrument. I recommend it. Um, yeah, and if it wasn't for the tuners, this would be a good bass to buy and s keep playing for the rest of your life, I think. So, yeah, that's my opinion. Hope you found this useful. Let's see you soon. Bye.